Oh, hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at this massive beast of a kit. I would venture to say the largest Megami device kit released thus far, barely making it larger than the original Shitara Kanashiya version Ganesha. This is the Shitara Kanashiya Tenki version Ganesha. So this is not going to be the first time that we've taken a look at this particular kit, you know, and it's many variations. This is just the latest of the variations to come out of this kit. Probably my favorite Megami device character in the line so far. So I'm always looking forward to checking out new versions of Shitara Kanashiya. I cannot recommend her enough in the various forms, but let's take a look at the very giant here, Tenki version Ganesha form for today's video. And all right, being a Megami device kit, we of course have that very premium feeling box here with the artwork and the text all being in a gloss finish, the background this white in a nice matte finish, so the box is really nice, and we have the full art on the front and the back side of the box here. So just to give you a nice close-up look at some of the details here of the artwork on the front, the character art shouldn't be forgotten. Looks really nice here on the front there as always. And then our little text down here gonna say, characters from the 3D action shooting game join the Megami device line in a special ace suit design. Despite her small stature, Shitara expertly uses her oversized weapons to take down Vice. Her special moves leave no room for escape as she surrounds and attacks her enemies with full force. So yeah, pretty cool. Here on the ends of the box, as you can see again, just how large the box is and how thick it is. We just have the numbering here, A2.4. This is the fourth version of the A2 release. And then here on the bottom of the box, images of the fully built and painted kit there, front and back in the full form, and then in the most basic of forms right there. And then we have some different action shots showing with this uh, effect part base, which is not included unfortunately, but you can get that separately and then in full form over here. This I believe would be the fully unpainted model, so you can just kind of see the difference. It's missing a few little color apps here and there, but out of the box, just straight out of the box without doing anything to it, it is going to look pretty nice. You can see some of the features of the kit there. We are here to the top side of the box. You can see our face options that we have included. We have three very nice looking face options. We have some stickers as well as some water slide decals included as well. And as you might expect, a pretty hefty MSRP here for this one, 14,800 yen, around $130, give or take. Which yeah, given that this box is about twice the size, if not more than twice the size of most other kits in the line, uh, the price is actually not bad considering everything that you get in here. There is a whole lot of plastic, a ton of runners, and we'll take a brief look through those, as brief as I can anyway, for however many runners there are. But I first just want to take a look here at the instruction manual, which features the same artwork as the front of the box. You have a little bit more kind of of the artwork right there, and that wraps around to the other side. And this is a pretty thick manual here as well, going all the way to page 40 there for our last page. But going back up here to the front, we've got some information about the Alice Gear Aegis crossover. Another character uh, illustration there. I kind of look at the full form of the kit. And then over here, some more images of the built and painted kit, showing off some different poses and everything that you can do with this. Inside, we do also have a code card, which I don't play the game, so I'm gonna show this code to you guys. One of you can hopefully take advantage of that. And I actually have a second one here as well, so two of you can take advantage of that if you were playing the game. But back to the manual here, we've got our parts list, parts list, and then all of the construction. So it's gonna be quite a lot of that as you might imagine for everything. And at the very back of the manual here is gonna be a relatively short uh, color and decal guide. This is just these two pages here, but it's just showing where some of the colors are, what some of the colors are. I guess the decals there for the eyes. We have a few decals that are gonna go around on the kit itself. And here we've got our water slide decals. These are the ones that are gonna be for like everywhere else around on the kit. The eyes and cheeks and mouth decals are all on like a separate sheet. These are gonna be just all of our marking decals there, white, maroon, and kind of a light bluish gray color. And the sticker sheet is just going to be basically for going underneath different clear parts to make the clear parts shine more nice and brightly, which should be very useful. So definitely make sure you hang on to this and use these underneath your clear parts. Some other contents here, we've got our pre-printed faces, which as always look fantastic. We'll take a closer look at these once we have the kit all built up. We also have the Y runner in here and X runner, which is just a couple of hand parts. The Y runner is one part there, like for the back side of the body in gray. We've also got a few screws and nuts here that's gonna be for the base for holding up this gigantic kit. 
and some more pre-printed parts here with some white lining on some of the dark parts for her costume and some red on there as well for the part around on the hips. And then getting into the runners, all right, we've got some poly caps here, two of this PC runner in gray. And all of our standard hand option parts here in a dark navy blue, closed fists, open resting hands, open expressive hands, and then different holding hands you all have on there, as well as some pointing finger hands and peace sign hands for some more expressions. And then in clear black, we have our parts for the base. It's gonna be two of these base plates there and then we've got the BS1 runner which is kind of like the main arm of the base and the parts for that and then two of this BS2 runner which is going to be for some additional parts there that you can use for that. The A runner then here is going to be all of our hair parts in a dark brown and the B, C and D runners are all going to be in this dark blue color for the body. So some of our parts for the actual costume itself. Then we have an alternate D runner, which is in a lighter kind of navy color. As you can see, kind of the difference between the two colors, a dark navy and a lighter navy color there. We've also got two different E runners here, but both of them are gonna be in the darker navy, still just parts for the body. Runner F then in the lighter navy color, as you can see some parts, larger parts there for the equipment. We have two runner Gs as well, two different ones. These are just gonna be a few different uh, connection parts there. Runners H and I, some more navy color parts for the equipment. Runner I we have two of with some very large parts on there as you can see. Runner J we also have two of but just a much smaller runner here, two of those. Runner K also a smaller runner here but this is going to be our molded gold parts there for the kit which look very nice. Runner L is some more large and some small equipment parts here. We've got two of those in that dark navy blue. Runner L1 is going to be in this kind of light blue color here for some parts for the equipment. Runner M we actually have two of. One is in the dark navy blue, one is in that light powder blue here so you're going to use like some parts from one runner and some other parts from the other so just make sure you pay attention to that in the manual. Then we've got runners N, O, P, and Q which is just going to be all of our gray kind of structural parts there for the equipment. There's runner N, runner O here we've got two of those, runner P we've got two of these here as well. And then runner Q, we've got two of those as well. We have an additional Q runner here, which is just going to be a couple of white parts for the little tufts of hair in her ears. We've got two different R runners as well. One is just gonna be some more mechanical gray parts. We have two of those. Our other R runner is going to be some parts in kind of a really nice magenta, like dark magenta color here for some parts for the body. Runner S, some more gray mechanical parts there. We've got two of those. Runner T, some more equipment parts here in a light blue. And then runners T1 and T2 are going to be our only other skin tone parts that we have here for this kit, aside from the face plates. Runner U is going to be the last of our large full runners here in a light blue. We've got two of these for some more equipment parts. But again, we do have an alternate U runner here for some pieces in brown. And then we also have U1 for a few more pieces there in that dark magenta color. And then runner V1 is going to be all of our clear green parts here for the kit. Runner W we have two of is some more molded gold for all of those new kind of parts that we have for the tanky version in particular has these kind of little uh, extra weapon bits. Runner X we have two of is some connection pieces here in clear blue. And last but not least, Runner Z here is going to be in dark blue for some additional connection pieces, which most of this runner we usually don't end up using in the Megami device kits. But that's it for our giant massive heap of runners. Let's go ahead and get the kit all built up. All right, guys, here is the kit all built up. Now, obviously, this is just going to be the most basic of base forms here. We're going to add everything else onto this here in just a minute, but I wanted to just first start off by taking a look at the basic form, and then we'll kind of talk about everything as all of its different accessories that are going to be all added onto it. We'll build it all up, and then we'll take a look at the more final form. But obviously, this kit is one that we've seen before, and it's a really, really awesome kit. Love the details, love the design on this. The Tenki form, I mean, obviously a different color scheme, but a different uh, costume on the body as well is also really nice. Again, really nicely detailed and the colors on it are really, really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of her different accessories here. All right, so let's start off with the big accessories, including the display base. Now I will say, I do kind of wish that this would have come with your standard Megami device display base, like the kind of circle base with just the simple rod to put in it. If for whatever reason you want to just only display the character herself and without all the extra equipment and everything, maybe you want to use the equipment for something else and you just only want to have the character, it would have been nice to have that included as well because we only have this giant one so you're not necessarily going to use this huge thing just to display the character uh, just on her own like that. But basically how this is going to work is we have this front section which is just going to fit into one of these kind of tabs here. So depending on what angle you want to have it at, that is going to lock it into place there and then up here at the top it's just a simple 
moving this forward and back and you can tighten this that's where one of your screws goes if you wanted to make that a little bit more tight it should be tight enough i mean the kit is large and weighs a lot but it's not so much that uh, this base can certainly handle the weight of it just fine now the only thing is you can't adjust the connection up and down at all so it's just kind of the height is just basically going to be fixed on uh, whatever angle you have this set at so that works pretty well and then we have our connection piece which is just going to connect the main large equipment onto the kit and so that's just also here out of clear black and it's really cool how the equipment for this version for the Ganesha version is all basically just like supersized versions of what's on the original so this would be like the lower section here for like the lower back leg kind of section of the equipment and it's very similar to what's on the original version but obviously in this case much larger so it's very hollow though so this is very large but doesn't weigh a whole lot because the inside of this whole section here is all completely hollow this flap here on the side opens up this main wing section here it can be kind of rotated you can kind of adjust the angle of that slightly the clear parts i actually didn't put the stickers under here so you can see the clear parts they will shine more brightly if you do use those stickers underneath those clear parts like here and here at the back side you can plug an effect part into there it's another thing that i wish i mean like this kit is already large and has a lot of runners and stuff there is a few things that i wish would have also been included in here like the stand i mentioned effect parts also would have been nice some of the megami device kits do include some effect parts like the uh, like a blue like blast effect or something i think would have been awesome to have included with this here because you could also plug that into there you could also plug one into here this kind of like foot section and these toe sort of toe parts will open up here like that and so you can plug an effect part into there just unfortunately we don't have anything included and this part also can be moved around on an angle like that so that's going to be our lower section of the equipment and we do have obviously the left and right versions of that the upper part of the equipment is going to be these uh, big claw sections so this is going to be more so for uh, melee combat and so these are going to be attached here up on the top and so these kind of front claw kind of blade parts can move like that and then this part is the whole kind of section sort of this big massive hand which can be extended out on this arm and then rotated to the front here and each of these four sort of finger sections can be splayed apart like that and then you can also adjust the angle on these to again basically make it this big sort of blade slashing kind of claw hand here for like i said melee combat for that so that's pretty cool looking and again here on the back side on the kind of like thruster bell detail is an area where you could plug an effect part into there again if that were included and then these sections here on the top and bottom also you can just kind of adjust the angle of those again just kind of depending on what you want to go with for the look of that so it's a lot of uh, like little moving parts and it just kind of builds out the complexity of this so like i said it's a big kit with a lot of parts a lot of moving parts and then on that note moving on to our big weaponry so here is her main lance weapon here which again the clear parts inside look really nice the handle down here and compared to the figure herself here as you can see it's gonna be about three times the length overall with the length of this coming in at about 30 centimeters in length. So it's absolutely massive. But then we do also have her very large uh, like kind of rifle cannon in here as well. Now this part has a little gimmick with this piece underneath, which kind of folds out like that. And again, the clear part back here near the handle does look really nice. And so this is going to hold onto the handle. And then you also have this additional piece, which is just going to like fit around the wrist section for added support, which would be nice because, you know, obviously this is going to be pretty large as well. The length of this weapon at about 13 centimeters is taller, still just a little bit taller than the base body itself. So everything's big on this kit, including these parts for the legs, but these are going to replace the legs basically here at the hip section we're just going to remove these legs and replace them with these which are going to give you a knee bend right here so that's your knee and then for the foot again they kind of match the feet of the large equipment where you do have a hard point in there you could plug an effect part these little kind of toes at the bottom do move a little bit the whole kind of foot is sort of like an elephant's foot right hence the name uh, does kind of move around a little bit on a ball joint there but again a lot of really nice detail in and around here you can imagine just with all of these parts how much fun this kit would be to paint certainly would be quite the endeavor but we're not done yet going on to our smaller accessories then we do also have our replacement arms so these are going to be your arms which have some more armor on them on the upper arm and lower arm there 
like that to replace the arms on your standard body. And up here on the head, we have some additional um, parts for the headdress. This is gonna be at the back of the head. It's gonna have this large section which kind of wraps around to the side of the head. And then on the top of the head, we're gonna replace the center section of the hair with this piece which has these long sections of armor that come down the side and that nice kind of gold decorative piece that's gonna be there on the top of the head. At the front of the waist, we have an option piece here for this sort of like a like little loincloth kind of detail right there. If you wanted to have this looking like it's kind of like blowing in the wind or just a bit more dynamic looking or if you need it to be able to bring the legs up to the front higher it's kind of blocked by this piece you can swap that for this piece right here another alternative option piece for the head would be cat ears again you're just gonna basically switch the middle section of the hair for this one which has the ears and then to go along with that we do also have an optional tail piece as well so you can just plug this tail right into there into the small of the back if you wanted to give it that uh, animal or cat tail and then for more customization as always we have the kind of rings which in this case are gold which are going to be here in the thigh you can uh, put this in between the top and bottom section of the thigh there to have a hard point and then you have a similar part here up for the upper arm right there if you wanted to have something attached onto the side of the upper arm using this gold piece. We've got a few like adapter connection pieces. This is one that we're gonna use with the base to be able to plug the kit onto there. And then we have eight of these clear blue, just kind of extension adapter pieces. Now these are gonna be useful for if you did want to use some of the effect parts for like in here. If you have the effect, because this is such like a large piece and kind of deep in there, if you wanted to plug the effect part in, it might not fit, it might not reach to the hole. So basically you can use this clear blue part plugged into there as just an extension piece and then you could have your effect part plugged into there and then kind of coming out from that bit. So hang on to these as those might be useful if you did want to use some effect parts with this kit. We got a couple of option neck pieces which will allow you to plug like a frame arms girl head or a figma head or something onto this body if you wanted to customize it in that way. Our option faces, like I said, for this one look really nice. The painting and expression on them, really, really high quality as always here from Kodobukyo. So there's the first two. The third one, just going to be this very lovely happy face here like that. For being like a tanky version, tanky being like the enemy version, there's not one that looks sort of like mean or very like enemy-like anyway. But aside from that, we've got all of our hand options like we talked about before. It's kind of your standard loadout of holding hands, open resting hands, open expressive hands, closed fists. And then we do also have the more kind of fun hands like the peace sign hands or the pointing finger hands like that. So lots of great hand option parts. And last but not least, we've got our kind of special gear, SP gear kind of funnel equipment here. Now there's two of these small ones which are gonna be useful for holding in the hand and that's what those little ones are for. But then we have eight of these large ones with the, which the large ones again have hard points at the back and these also are gonna be useful for using these uh, connection pieces just because the hard points kind of set kind of deep into there. You can use these connection pieces there for that. These ones, unfortunately with this kit, there's not really any good way to display them. And this is going to come to be the third and final piece that I really wish would have been included with this set that was not, and that is the effect stand. And so this I would highly recommend getting along with this kit if you can, the MSG playing base type A. Basically this effect base gives you these ring parts and these connections. You guys have seen me use this uh, before. I think it was maybe in reviewing the original version of this kit possibly, but really, really a shame that these parts were not included with this kit as like effect parts and this uh, effect display base just because it's going to be so integral into actually being able to use uh, one of the aspects which makes the tanky version so different from the original version aside from the different color it's got these special weapons as well which the original version doesn't have but yeah without this display base you really can't do a whole lot with these so as we're getting into the conclusion of the review here i am going to use that effect display base for a couple of poses here just to show you guys how it can be used but because it's not included with this kit i am going to count that as a little bit of a missed opportunity so like i said just kind of again in summary there's three things that i really wish would have been included with this it's already a big and expensive kit as it is but having just the smaller standard base for if you wanted to just display just the character without all the added equipment i think would have been nice having the effect display base obviously would have been nice for displaying all of the weapons properly and then also the inclusion of some effect parts also would have been a really great selling point for this one so it doesn't feel like it's necessarily missing anything by not having those but it certainly would have felt like a really truly full package 
uh, if it would have included those. And then it would have left you with really nothing else that you would need or want uh, possibly for this. And so it's a little bit of a shame there that it's missing a couple of things that I think could have made this even that much better. But even without those extra bits, it's a really, really cool kit, really awesome kit. I really like the tanky color scheme here on this one, but if you guys did prefer the original color scheme, there is that version that is available. Parts wise, it's not really going to be that different. The body itself of the main character is a little bit different. And also obviously the original version won't have those SP weapons, the funnel bits. But if you were looking for a Mecha Musume type kit that really leans heavily on the Mecha aspect, then this one is definitely one that I could highly recommend to you guys because there's obviously a a lot of mechanical aspects to this kit with it being probably the large percentage bulk of the total build. I mean, obviously there's a lot of parts that go into the body. Like I said, the equipment uh, is mostly kind of hollow. It's just large and hollow on the M on the inside. There's a lot of parts there, but there's obviously a lot of parts going to be packed into the character body itself just because there's a lot of uh, articulation and color separation and everything going into the character's body. So anyway, there is a lot of parts with this kit. So if you're looking for a build which you can really enjoy for a longer period of time, obviously this is one that's going to take you a while to get all put together. And especially if you plan on painting the kit, it's going to be quite the adventure, but it's an awesome kit. I love the design. I love the colors of this just straight out of the box. I think it looks fantastic. But if you did want to go ahead and paint everything up, I mean, it's only going to look that much better. So highly recommended. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about the tanky version of the Ganesha version of Star Kaneshiya? And if there's any other possible future variants, I mean, would you guys like to see any more of Star Kaneshiya in future variants? Or is it one that you're feeling a little bit kind of tired of? Like I said, for me, this now being the fourth version of this kit, I enjoy it every time. But I mean, it's always nice to have something new too. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section. And if you guys want to check out this kit or any other Megami device kits or Kotobukiya kits, Frame Arms Girl kits, or anything else, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. We've got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys to check out. If you would like to leave a like while you're here, that would be greatly appreciated. Make sure that you're subscribed as well. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Thank you so much. Until next time, hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.